Aristotle talked about four kinds of causality. He said, what's the cause, for instance, of a building being built? He says, there's the material cause, right? The wood and the glass, that's the material that caused this building to be built. That's called the material cause. There's the formal cause, it's the form that this building has. The architect envisioned a form. That's the formal cause of this building to be built. Aristotle also said there's the efficient cause, right? The carpenters came and they started hammering nails. Efficient causality is what we normally think of as causality. Efficient causality, what caused something. In other words, this is moving in this direction because this hit it. That's what we normally think of as causality, right? But Aristotle broke it down a little bit more precisely. So this, is, this kind of causality, efficient causality, is the basic kind of causality that's behind the medical model, right? There's a problem. What caused that problem? Something caused the problem. If you get rid of that cause, the problem should go away, right? What caused, what caused the heart disease? Plaque. So if you get rid of the plaque by taking Lipitor, then the heart disease should go away, right? Very important. But only one kind of causality. Now, Aristotle said there's a third kind of causality, a, f a fourth kind of causality, a very interesting one. He called it final cause, or teleos, teleology. The teleos is the, is, is the goal. So this is going in this direction, not just because this is moving it, but because it's trying to go in a certain direction. There's the final goal or the final cause. In other words, this building was being built so people could live here. That's the final goal or the final cause of why the building is built. Right? That's very interesting. So when we're looking at the problems here that people have, we're not just looking at what caused the problem. But also, what is it for? Where is it leading them? What's the point of it? 